Hangul Temple, located in Longshan South Road, Weiro District, Beijing, is a scenic spot that combines Buddhist culture, historical culture, and garden culture. This temple is backed by mountains and surrounded by lush green woods, forming a serene and peaceful picture. Here you can appreciate the charm of ancient Chinese architecture and feel the strong religious atmosphere at the same time. In order to better visit Hangul Temple, we provide you with a full guide strategy, which we hope will be helpful to you. 1. Imperial Bamboo Forest 600 years of green world after entering the scenic spot. The first thing that comes into view is the 600-year-old Imperial Bamboo Forest. In this emerald green world, you can find a special money eye. It is said that if you make a wish in front of the money eye, your wish will come true. At the same time, the Imperial Bamboo Forest is also a good place to enjoy the beautiful scenery. 2. The Ren Kong Pond a mysterious place guarded by fairies after walking through the royal bamboo forest, you will come to the Red Kong Pond. Here, you can enjoy the beautiful statue of the Red Kong Nymph, which is also an excellent place for taking photos. 3. The Concretionary The gatekeeper of the temple continuing on, you will pass by the Concretionary, which is a step made of Concretionary stone, symbolizing that you are about to step into the holy place of the temple. The bell in front of the temple gate will welcome your arrival. 4. The Seven Halls, the heart of Hangul Temple entering the temple, you can visit in turn the Hall of the Heavenly King, the Hall of the Great Hero, the Hall of the Three Saints, the Hall of the Ancestors, the Hall of Dharma, the Hall of Jiren, and the Hall of the Thousand-Handed Goddess of Mercy. The Buddha statues here are of different shapes and solemnity. The Dakshin Bayo Hall is one of the most important buildings in Hangul Temple, mainly dedicated to Sheikh Yamini Buddha. Under the thousand-year-old male and female ginkgo trees in the temple, you can tie a ribbon to pray for marriage. 5. Guanyin Road, the road of prayers on Guanyin Road, you can see wisher turning banners hanging all over the railing, which bear witness to the devotion of believers to Guanyin Bodhisattva. If your heart is sincere, all 33 Guanyin along the road can pray for you. 6. Thousand Handed Guanyin Temple, a holy place for praying for children. Finally, the Thousand Handed Guanyin Hall is a mysterious and sacred place in Hangul Temple. It is said that devotees who pray for an heir here have their requests answered. Many devotees who come here kowtow and pray to the goddess of mercy to grant them a healthy and intelligent child. If your physical condition allows, you can climb to the highest point of the Hangul Temple, Songdianmen, to enjoy the whole view of Huiro Town. The view of green hills and water is breathtaking. From Songdianmen, you can enjoy the beautiful natural scenery and feel the beauty of nature by walking down through the pavilion, leaf viewing pavilion. Peony Garden and Ancient Pine Forest. Especially worth mentioning is the Jigong Hall and Mafuya Buddha in Hangul Temple. The Jigong Hall was built to commemorate the living Buddha of the Ming Dynasty, and the statue of Jigong is enshrined in it, which is said to be very lucky for seeking a fortune. Mafuya Buddha, on the other hand, is an important Buddha statue in the temple, about seven meters high and very solemn, signifying the spirit of teaching all sentient beings and forgiving everything. Finally, at the foot of the mountain, you can see a series of lifelike animal sculptures, one for each of the 12 zodiac signs, which are very realistic and vivid, allowing visitors to enjoy and take pictures. The trip will take about an hour and a half if it's non-stop, but if you want to experience the temple's atmosphere and culture in more depth, you can also take longer to visit slowly and take in the charm. Overall, Hangul Temple is a great temple for visitors to relax and unwind, with not only beautiful natural scenery, but also a solemn Buddhist culture that makes it well worth a visit. However, in order to better experience the beauty and culture of the place, visitors must abide by the rules, refrain from littering and trampling on plants and trees, and maintain a civilized and polite attitude.